Welcome to Padu Motivations. Today, I'm going to recalibrate my Tesla Model 3. Uh, one might ask, why do you want to recalibrate your Tesla battery? Actually, you're recalibrating the Tesla battery management system. And you want to do this just to make sure you're still getting an accurate range prediction that's on your phone and on the screen right here so you know that your range is accurate. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is see where your Tesla's range is at when it's at 100%. And uh, remember, this is a Tesla uh, LFE battery, so it can be charged to 100%. So 100% gets me, uh, gets me 262 miles. So when I do the recalibration, I want to see if it's going to be right at that 262 miles. Okay, by the way, this is a 2023 Tesla Model 3. It has about 16,000 miles on it. I bought it in June of 2023. So it's a little less than a year and a half uh, old. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is the first thing you wanna do is drain the battery below 10%, okay? Um, I'm very fortunate or lucky enough to have uh, a 240 volt outlet right here in my garage. So it's, it's a lot easier to do this. Um, some people who don't have that uh, might be a little bit difficult. So we're gonna drain it below 10%. So I'm gonna drive around. Okay, my percentage is, as you can see, is at 10% and that will give me about uh, 27 miles. So, um, I guess the hardest thing about recalibrating your Tesla battery or recalibrating the battery management system is getting below the 10%. So I am feeling a little bit of range anxiety. So I think I'm going to head home and uh, the home is 14 minutes away and I'll be at 7%. So that's actually pretty good. And then I'll be all Okay, I am at home right now, and as you can see, I'm at 7%. So the GPS hit it right on the button. So I'm at 7% and 19 miles. So I'm all set to go, but I have to do one other thing. So I'm at 7%, and what you wanna do is, once you get at that 7% mark, you just wanna let the Tesla just sit for an hour, and then we're gonna charge it up fully and then uh, see where that range is. And that's gonna be an accurate range for you. My Tesla rests for an hour. Now I'm gonna plug it in and give it a full charge overnight. And then tomorrow morning uh, when I get up, um, I'll see an accurate range as far as uh, my Tesla battery management system. Okay, so I charged my Tesla Model 3 up fully. As you can see, I'm getting 262 miles. And let's see, it is at 100% at 262 miles. Now, when I first purchased my vehicle, um, my range was 272 miles. So, um, so in a little bit less than a year and a half, it uh, went down to 262. That's about a 3% decrease, which is an acceptable range. I do believe if your vehicle is over 100,000 miles, the battery degradation, battery degradation shouldn't be any lower than 10%. So with this video, I can provide you with some peace of mind, knowing that you're getting an accurate range uh, information on your Tesla. If you found any of this information helpful for you, and if you like videos like this, please subscribe and we'll see you today.